Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alan Smith. I am a co-owner and booker for Discovery Wrestling, who are putting on a massive show at the Meadowbank Sports Centre in Edinburgh on the 11th of October. And we've got some huge matches planned for everybody. A four-way elimination involving Ian Ambrose, Lewis Gervin, Damian Daniels and Chris Saban. We've got Joe Coffey versus former ROH star Mike Mondo, the Wild Lions versus the traditionalists, Crime Time versus Joe Henry and a partner of his choosing, Shanna versus Sammy versus Viper, and the match that everybody's been talking about online is a true battle of the heavyweights, Rampage Brown versus Damian O'Connor. Now, I have been given the privilege of having both men here today to put some questions to them both ahead of this match to get their feelings ahead of it all. So gentlemen, if you would like to join me. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How you doing, big fella? Mm -hmm. Now, if you would, would mind just taking a, a seat for <coughs> us. Now, as we said off the top there, it's the Meadowbank Sports Centre. It's the 11th of October. Now, the Meadowbank Sports Centre is known for com competition. It's had countless boxing events there in the past. It's had the Commonwealth Games there in the past. And I think on October 11th, competition is what we're going to get between you both. Uh, so, to kick things off, I want to hear from yourself, Damien, about your feelings on facing Rampage Brown. Well, you hit the nail on the head there about competition, um, and I am a big fan of, of Rampage Brown. I think that he's one of the, the top heavyweights in the world right now, um, and I want to progress. I want to get better, um, and my whole ethos is I want to wrestle and beat people who are better than me. Rampage, uh, a response to the demo there? Ethos, that's a big word. Listen, look, I don't know much about him. I know he's a big, strong boy, but that's not going to be enough to get it done. That's not going to be enough to get it done in the ring against me. So I think you can already, you know, for your, all you mathematical geniuses out there, you can see how this is going to turn out. Rampage seems to think this is about a a given uh, that he knows how this is going to turn out. He doesn't rate you as, as competition, judging by, by his comments there. Do you laugh? Uh, well, I'm used to, I'm used to people uh, maybe uh, not taking me seriously. Um, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, I'm a big guy. I'm hairy. I, I look a bit, uh, a bit ridiculous. I get it. I can see where you're coming from. But uh, I think when we get in the ring together, you know, you get a fair idea what I'm all about. He's a, he is a big guy. I know what everyone compared to me is, is a big guy, but you're how heavy just now? 23 stone. 23 stone. Have you ever faced anyone the size of Damien O'Connor before? I've, I've faced a few. So that's just, to me, that equivalence in my little brain is 23 stone of body weight coming down on his neck as I drop him on his head with a power driver. End off. Kenny? I'll drive someone the size of you. I'd love to see him try and pick me up, to be honest. <laughs> now, wherever you go in the UK, people talk about who the best heavyweights are in the UK. And w certainly both your names in conversations I've had come up time and time again. Rampage, people put you on lists, people put you at the top of these lists as being the best in the UK, one of the best in Europe, one of the best in the world right now. How do you carry a tag like that? Can you live up to that kind of expectation on the 11th of October? Well, I've been doing it for the last 14 years. So the 11th of October is just another day on the calendar that I am going to carry this on and I am going to be better and stronger and faster. Like every single day is a progression for me. Every single day in Rampage Brown's boots is a progression for me. So that's just going to be another step on the ladder. He's going to be another step on the ladder. A step on the ladder. I mean, when people talk about the best, Rampage has been recognised as one of the best. You're certainly, you're, you're now, Damien O'Connor's name is getting spread far and wide. Should Rampage be worried? I think anybody should be worried when they step in the ring with somebody who's 23 stone in my height. You keep saying how big you are, but like, I, who, who have you beaten? I, I, I don't know. Who have you ever pinned? Well, how about this? October 11th, I'm going to beat you. That's some big words for a big man. But let's just see if you've got, it, got what it takes to back it up. Because I don't think you, I can see it in your eyes. I don't think you've got it. At the end of the day, you can look down on me all you want, buddy. 
I've seen all your matches. I know everything you can do. I've studied it. And I know for a fact. Well, I'd see yours. I'd see yours, but I don't know who, who is this guy. I don't know. Where, where can I find tapes? Where can I find matches of this guy? I don't know. Well, I know, I know everybody in Scotland knows who Damien O'Connor is. Everywhere you've gone, you've always had a following. You've always had a big support in that crowd. Um, I've had, the, I've had uh, the chance to watch you wrestle in, in Glasgow and in Motherwell in the past as well. And, and the crowd have never found favour with you. I mean, will the crowd play a part on the, the 11th of the, October? Listen, the crowd in Scotland have no class. That's why they don't favour me. But that's their problem, not mine. I'm going to stop you there, right? You're talking about class, right? When I stand in your chest, 23 stone of me, you're going to hear every single one of those crowd members. They're going to be cheering for me, baying for your blood, son. And that's what's going to happen October 11th. You can shake your head all you want, son. That's My track funny. record. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. This. It's kind of funny. This guy. Is he, is he a stand-up comedian on the, on the, on the weeks, on the weeknights? I think the only, me laugh. the only stand-up he's planning on doing is standing on your chest. Oh, he's so. getting smart too, right? You want to get smart too? Well, we'll see what happens on the 11th. October the 11th, we'll see whose chest you're standing on, okay? Because I know it ain't going to be mine. It ain't going to be mine, sunshine. Don't you worry about that. Now, before, we're, before we, we get overly heated, uh, we've got one more question for you both. And it's, how will this match end? I mean... From your perspective... I'll tell you how it's going to end. Hey. Let me go to Damien first. Forget Damien. Let me... Okay, hey, whoa, okay whoa. well, you tell me... You tell me I'll you, tell you how it's going to end. You tell me how this match is going to end. Pile driver. Pile driver. I'm telling him now. Pile driver. My game plan. Pile driver. Because no matter what he does, even if he knows what's coming, no matter what he does, he's not going to be able to get around. Me grabbing him, picking his big ass up, and dropping himself, dropping him on his head. Pile driver. Is that how it's going to end? Listen. If you can pick me up for a pile driver, right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if, if you can, if, I can. if I you can, can. I can, you have to be able to break this neck. Okay, and you can sit there all confident and all smug. Do you know what? You have done it. You've done it all. Mm -hmm. You've been to America. Mm -hmm. You've wrestled big guys, small guys, everything in between, right? But you've never wrestled me. I'm Damien O'Connor, right? And when I stand in your chest and I sent on you, you're going to wish you never came to Scotland in the first place. You're talking I always no, wish no, I never no, came to Scotland not, I, anyway. I start listening to you. I start listening to you. I start listening to you. Okay? You asked how this is going to end. He said, pile driver, I can tell you this, son. There's no chance you're going to beat me. Edinburgh is going to see Damien O'Connor march on, climb the ladder, whatever way you want to put it. Damien O'Connor beats Rampage Brown. I don't think so. I don't think so, big man. Well, we'll see. Well, I think, I think we're here, we're done here for today, so um, before we go, um, I think it's only right and proper that we uh, have a respectful handshake between you both. A lot of words have been spoken, we'll leave the action till the 11th of October. For now, hey. Hey. gents, you're going to beat me, you're going to beat me. Right in, keep it apart, keep it apart, keep it for the 11th, keep it for the 11th.